If you wanna build a better project portfolio to show off your data skills, this is for you. This tool will help you get started or can help you pick the next project. Or if you've already got a portfolio together, this will review your individual projects or even review and critique your entire portfolio. It'll ask you questions about the roles you're trying to go after, and it'll give you specific feedback that you can use to improve your portfolio. This tool is like having an expert data career coach in your pocket 24 seven. The best part is you can use it entirely free. I'm gonna show you where to find it and I'll walk you through what it can do so that you can use it to optimize your portfolio, dazzle employers and secure that next job opportunity. Let's get started. So here's how you're gonna find this one. Just go to ChatGPT and either use the explore GPTs function or go to chatgpt.com slash GPTs. That'll bring you to the same place. You're gonna search for Maven Analytics and then choose Portfolio Power Up. Go ahead and start the chat here. And now you'll see one of these four modes. So I've got Enrique's profile here on the right. We'll get into that in a minute, but right now I'm gonna show you what it's like if you don't have a portfolio at all yet, you don't have any projects and you need some guidance on how to get started. We're gonna select this just getting started, no projects yet. If you're further along, you might wanna skip ahead in the video a little bit. So it's gonna ask a few targeted questions like which role are you going for? Which industries or business functions do you wanna work in? Which tools do you wanna highlight? How much time do you wanna spend? And then it's gonna kind of steer you into projects that are useful. So I always like using dictation for this. You don't have to, but it's just, I find it pretty easy. So I'll allow the microphone here and I'm gonna say, you know, I'm really looking for data analyst roles. That's what I'm most interested in. Maybe data science, but, but probably data analyst. I really like marketing and sales. That's where I've had the most fun trying to help optimize a business. So I think that's where my background is most relevant. I have really good SQL skills. I've got pretty good Excel skills and then kind of beginner Python and Tableau skills. I'm not really sure how much time I could commit to a first project, maybe call it five to 10 hours. Um, so yeah, let me see what you got here. Awesome, so now that transcription's done, upload it here. Pretty quickly, you know, it summarizes the things that we really care about the most, that this person wants to be a data analyst, work in marketing and sales, show off their most important skills, SQL and Excel, at least right now. This really helps you kind of focus what you're gonna put on display. A lot of people miss this, especially thinking about like a specific function like marketing or sales. If you don't know, that's okay. But if you do, it can really help you kind of put down some domain expertise into those projects, which is going to set you apart from your competition of more generic data analysts. So it's got four project ideas here. We could do a marketing campaign performance analysis. We've got a customer conversion funnel analysis. We've got a sales performance dashboard for regional teams. And we've got a uh, customer lifetime value segmentation. Um, and it says, if I want help finding a data set, it can do that too. And then finally, it can turn one to two of these ideas into full project mini briefs. So I'm going to tell uh, ChatGPT to pick the most valuable projects here. So it's giving me uh, project one and two. It's got the business case here for the marketing campaign awesome. The expected insights and metrics here, which is really important that I know what I'm going to be gunning for here in a data analysis, the story and the visuals, and then some other technical depth. So maybe I want to put my SQL and Python on display. Um, awesome. Awesome. Cool. So that's a fully scoped out project. And then project two is the customer conversion funnel analysis. Again, you've got your business case, the expected metrics, a recommended story with visuals, some optional technical depth, and some ideas for specific things that you might put in there. Again, for SQL, show window functions, um, do some segment by channel conversion rates would be grouping by, and then uh, potentially attributing revenue to different funnel stages. So yeah, some pretty cool ideas there. It says the Maven website analytics data set would work awesome. And then, yeah, it says start with project one. So you saw pretty quickly, you can go from having pretty much no direction to 
being able to get started and at least have some ideas for what you might want to do. So that's the first mode. Let's check out some of the other modes. I'll do a new chat with this same GPT here. Help me choose my next project. Awesome. Hope you're enjoying this video. Just wanted to pop in and make sure you don't miss out on Maven Analytics free January Jumpstart event. From January 5th to January 16th, you can take advantage of two of our most popular learning paths completely free. That's our generative AI essentials path and our data career roadmap path. You can take your data and AI skills to the next level. Registration is open for live events and you'll get free access to all of these courses. You can get all the details at the link in the description and I hope to see you there. All right, let's get back to the video. And again, it's really asking me these questions about my target role, the industries and functions that I wanna work in, so important and something that a lot of people miss. Which kind of project do we wanna highlight next? Is it gonna be dashboard heavy, SQL and Python coding heavy, an end-to-end -end project kind of with everything here? And then also, does, do I want help finding a data set? So yeah, so I'll say I'm really interested in marketing. Um, E-commerce has been something that's been really fun for me. I love SQL, love Excel. Got a little bit of Python uh, skills, but I don't really have any projects with Python. So maybe if we could incorporate Python into this project, that would be really useful. I'd, I'd love to put some of those skills on display. I don't have any of those in my project yet. And um, yeah, I'd love help finding a data set. Awesome. So transcriptions done here. Awesome. This has come up with five project ideas. So we've got an e-commerce marketing funnel, which is an end-to-end -end project, customer segmentation and with clustering, which is Excel, SQL, and Python. That's kind of right up my alley. Marketing channel, ROI optimization. I've actually got a lot of projects like that, so I'll skip those for now. Product conversion drivers, Excel modeling, SQL, Python, uh, feature importance, awesome. And then doing an e-commerce A-B test simulator. Yeah, really cool. So I told it I wanted to do e-commerce. I was interested in kind of marketing and sales. It gave me five projects that are really relevant to that industry. It gave me five projects that are really relevant to that industry that would help me potentially win a job opportunity there. So really cool. Love it. It even has recommendations for which are the best fits based on what I told it. So again, taking you from not really sure where to go next to, hey, here's a perfect project for you. So let's go to another one of these modes. All right. So now let's go ahead and review Enrique's portfolio. So I've selected review my entire portfolio. Obviously there's a lot more information to get in here. I'm gonna see if I can shortcut this with an image. That's one of the really fun things about these AI tools is a lot of times you can paste an image and it's pretty good at extracting the value out of it. So um, I'm definitely gonna give it the, the target roles information but I'm gonna see if with the, the image and my target roles, I can kind of get away with everything. So I'll say, hey, I have a tremendous amount of experience with Excel, some good experience with SQL and with Python. I've had a good amount of experience with projects around marketing and e-commerce, some sports projects, some fun, uh, music industry, hotel bookings, some some other just kind of like fun projects around New Year's resolution data, um, movie data. So I'm probably looking for like an e-commerce company trying to hire somebody into a data analyst role. And I've uploaded an image here. I'm hoping you can use the image and uh, recognize what I've got here in the portfolio. All right, let's transcribe that. Awesome. So it was able to do a lot of this. So, and it's giving me this, this quick portfolio scan, which is really important. Like if you're trying to get in front of a hiring manager and get their attention, you need it to right off the bat pass this six second scan. If they look at it and they go, Oh, this doesn't look very interesting, or this doesn't look like a good fit. You're done. They're not going to read the rest of it, but if they do, you've hooked them and then they're going to invest the time. So, and it's saying strong signals here, clear tool strength, a high volume of projects, some engaging creative topics, some professional looking visual thumbnails. Okay, that's the good stuff. We've got some potential issues. It's kind of unclear 
that this portfolio is structured towards an e-commerce data analyst. It doesn't really have a lot of e-commerce analytics data here. That's a really good piece of feedback. That is actually, I think, something that happens to a lot of folks. They're saying, hey, I want to put SQL skills on display. I want to put Excel skills on display, Python. And they're not as much thinking about that specific domain experience, the function, the type of company, which that really matters to hiring managers. So love that that is the first point of feedback. Project ordering is backwards. Lighter fun projects appear before the more business relevant ones. Again, great feedback. We want to get the best stuff to the top, the most relevant stuff to the top of the page. That's a good experience. Some limited obvious business cases. A lot of them are more like interesting analysis, not really solving a measurable business problem. And again, I think that's really good feedback on this one here. And then the SQL and the Python presence isn't as obvious and as visible in the layout, even though I said that Enrique has some experience there. And, and that's a really interesting one because I think he's got all of these Excel credentials here, um, that really heavily weighted there and not quite as much on the, the SQL and the Python side. So yeah, really, really good stuff there. It gives the portfolio a score on these key dimensions, skill, proof, and role fit. So definitely could improve that six out of 10. If you see a six out of 10, you should not be content with that. You have all the opportunity in the world to keep improving your portfolio until you get closer to a 10 out of 10. So six out of 10, totally not going to be okay. Business relevance and variety, same thing. Probably not enough on the business side, solving the specific problems. The analytics trifecta showing off technical, strategic, and storytelling skills. We have um, some projects here showing some strategic insight, but others feel like they're exploratory without the ROI or the KPIs. Project packaging clarity, pretty good here. Good titles, good kind of H2s to explain the title, subtitle underneath. Then we have platform and accessibility very accessible, easy to look at, passion, personality off the charts, projects are fun, well-designed and, and show curiosity. So if you're just looking at the scores, this gives you a really good place to focus. The specific role of an e-commerce data analyst needs some help here. Enrique needs to do a better job if that was what he's really going for. And then the business relevance too. Those are the biggest things, project by project, quick impression. So it's rating those specific projects and some recommendations for reordering. So lead with the business and the analytics work, then your applied consumer and media projects. Awesome. And then a big gap here, really Enrique needs one to two e-commerce specific flagship projects. Probably makes sense for those to be at the very top and called out really, really well. And it's recommending some specific ones, customer behavior and product performance dashboard, marketing analytics project, awesome. So yeah, so then it's summarizing some of these immediate fixes, rewriting the top three project summaries to add the business impact, reordering the portfolio, try to get the SQL and the Python up and get the e-commerce flagship product to the top. So yeah, really solid advice here for somebody who wants to be an e-commerce data analyst, kind of nailed the feedback that it should be giving them. So if you've already got a portfolio, great tool here, and I'll do one more. We'll just keep going a little bit deeper here. And now let's review just one of those specific projects. So again, I'm going to try to shortcut this anytime I can with these LLMs. Um, I like to tell it a little bit of information, but if I can give it a screenshot, that's really useful. So I'll pick just this. What's the best performing Marvel movie. He's got a video here, which the LLM won't be able to see the video, which is a bummer. That's a really nice touch. I mean, if you have a video of yourself delivering a presentation, that's obviously amazing. I think that's one of the best ways an analyst can stand out in a portfolio because it really gives somebody an opportunity to see what it would be like receiving a presentation from you. So that's something to consider. Enrique does have that here, like huge bonus points for him. All right, so I just gave it some basic info and the screenshot. Let's see what it can do with that. All right, so it wants the business case. I don't really have a business case here, so I'm just going to give the background section. So I filled in this quick snapshot, analyzed Marvel movies data, downloaded the data, calculated a return, plotted it to visualize the story. The key insights, Marvel is getting better at reaping rewards, higher ROI over time. 
And then what I want this project to prove to employers, I can use Excel, Python, understand data and tell a clear story. So let's see if this is enough for it to do. Awesome. All right, so it's being really thorough. It's still saying it wants more pieces of information. This is actually great. It's a little bit more painful to get to a review, but in a real life scenario, if you're trying to get your project thoroughly reviewed, this is fantastic, right? So it's asking me really clarify the industry and function that you want the project to align with. What's the data source and do you have any concerns? So I'm answering those questions here and we'll see now what it says finally for this project review. So let's see what's going on here. We've got the six second hiring manager scan, strong visual storytelling, awesome, tried something advanced with clustering, but explained it in approachable language. Again, awesome, it's good feedback. The narrative is engaging and has personality. What's confusing or weakening the signal? The business case is vague, not framed like a real world problem. That's actually great advice too. The visuals don't connect tightly to ROI, which is the main metric you say you're analyzing. That's a good point. The scatter plot with the percentage of budget recovered does actually connect to ROI, but really I was talking about that rise over time, which maybe doesn't perfectly tell that overall ROI story. It kind of hints at it. It also has this other story of just doing more each of the most recent years. So it's both having kind of these bigger hits and just doing more stuff. So I probably didn't do my best there, but it's good feedback. So then it, it's telling me the, oh yeah, it says technical death is implied, but not clearly shown step by step. And I think some of that comes out in the video, but it would also be cool to get some of the code shown here on the page just to make it a little bit easier to see. So again, that's good advice there. And then the weakest element being the lack of clear business relevant problem stated. And let's take a look at the overall scoring here. So the business case clarity, pretty weak, five out of 10, you wanna get that up. Insights and measurable impact, again, maybe not super impactful, understanding how things are going, but not necessarily saying, hey, these are additional levers that we can pull. Storytelling and visuals was pretty good. Technical depth could have illustrated this a little bit better, I think is what they're saying. Writing and structure, seven out of 10, maybe a little too narrative heavy before the values delivered. And then finally, the relevance to the target, a data analyst and e-commerce role probably could have been better here. So overall project score, six out of 10, definitely could do better here. And some really good specific examples of what was working really well and what could be improved. So great stuff here. Again, if you want to work on your portfolio, doesn't matter where you are. If you're just getting started, if you've already got some projects, if you want to review the whole thing and really beat it up, optimize it for a specific role, this tool can handle whatever you want to throw at it. Again, you can find this at ChatGPT in the Explore GPTs or at chatgpt.com slash GPTs. Just search Maven Analytics and then go to the portfolio power up. And hopefully this will help you put your skills on display with your portfolio and get yourself to the next job opportunity. Good luck.